you need to do shopping at your local Walmart, you'll soon need to bring your own bags. That's because as of Friday, single-use plastic bags will be a thing of the past at the retail giant. The move comes amid a broader push to reduce commercial waste. At many of our shopping centres, it's hard not to find plastics within steps of entering. Walmart Canada, one of the country's biggest retailers, making a noticeable step to scale back by removing single-use carry-out bags. We anticipate that we'll be able to remove 680 million bags each year and that's about 10.5 million pounds of plastic. Vice President Rob Nickel says the move comes after a 10-store trial last year. Our goal is to reduce unnecessary plastic. But taking bags away from checkout doesn't mean plastic is gone totally. Clear bags will still be used for produce and bulk items. It actually protects a lot of food in particular and allows the food to be able to be sold over a longer period of time and in a safer way. Nickel says the company also looking to change the composition of the plastics it uses, removing ones harder to recycle. And it ultimately comes down to how people use reusable bags. So the resource intensity of trying to make a reusable bag is significantly more than trying to make one single plastic bag. Dr. Calvin Lacken at York University specializes in waste research. He says to make a difference in this area, consumers need to embrace it, and there needs to be a larger adoption of reusable bags, pointing to past studies showing people forgot those. The proliferation of plastic packaging is symptomatic of broken food systems and broken consumption systems. Lacken says we need to look at reducing the amount we consume since packaging largely can't be recycled. He also notes plastics still have a role, adding not all are equal and can be beneficial in certain instances, especially for food products consumed by lower income households. Plastic bags are an enormous source of uh, waste across Canada. Karen Worsig at Environmental Defense calls Walmart's decision good news and says it comes ahead of a potential federal ban on single-use plastics. She said the federal goal is to get to zero plastic waste by 2030, but notes it still lacks specifics. We do need to produce less of it and use less of it. I mean, this is not something that we as individual consumers are going to fix on our own. Meanwhile, back at Walmart, Nickel says the company is looking at greater use of renewable energy and other changes. And that includes reducing waste of all types and kinds, food waste, plastic waste certainly, but it also includes ensuring that the commodities, the products that we sell in our stores are as sustainably sourced as possible. For more on this story, go to citynews.ca. In Toronto for City News, I'm Nick Westall.